Hi there, welcome to my channel, Expat Theory. My name is Chris. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I started this channel to be a video diary, kind of keeping track of my journey going from a working stiff to realizing my dream of retiring as an expat in a foreign country. So my excursion to the O'Hare airport didn't quite turn out the way I expected, but it didn't turn out to be a complete flop because while I was there, I found out they had a subway station. So I went downstairs, jumped on the subway and headed into the city. Now I'm going to fast forward this video a little bit because I'm sure other people have rode a subway train before. This was my first time. I've never been on a subway. It was pretty cool. I kind of liked it. And it was pretty interesting, you know, the view from the train itself. Got to see some parts of the city that you don't normally get to see. So, I even enjoyed the subway ride, believe it or not. So I got off of the subway at the Washington Street Station and I immediately walked into what looked to be a mall. I was a little bit shocked. Uh, this little place is called Block 37 and it's a mini mall basically. It's not that large but it is four stories. Now sadly under the current medical conditions that we have going on a lot of the businesses were closed or open space. I really think this is a great idea, great concept. I think it would be a lot better if they could actually fill those empty spaces with active businesses. But, you know, thanks to the Rona, a lot of things are not uh, working as they should be. Anyway, it was pretty nice. Didn't even have to step outside. He went directly from the subway into the mall. I kind of liked that. It was pretty cool. So I step out into the street and it just kind of hits me. This is a big city. Now I've been in a couple of big cities before, but this is a little different. This is a real metropolis. There's skyscrapers everywhere. It's pretty impressive. A lot of people, a lot of traffic, but it still kind of feels cool. I mean, I like it. I'm not used to big cities. I'm used to little small towns, especially when I come from Florida. It's very small there. It's a little small beach town. And nothing compared to this. And one of the things that kind of caught me off guard, there's kind of cool architecture everywhere, but what really got me was the stores. This was literally like a mall, but outside. All the storefronts are the same places that you would see in most of your high-end malls. It was kind of cool to see that. And of course, no city would be complete without its pigeons. I was pretty impressed with all the different subway lines that run in and out of the city and the streets that run underneath. That really kind of made it feel like a bigger city to me. In the distance here, you can see the park that I'm headed for. I finally made my way down there. Now, I've never been to New York City, and I don't know anything about Central Park, but I kind of feel like this would be Chicago's version. There were a lot of picnics going on, people doing exercise. It's just a cool place to hang out, you know, nature in the city, surrounded by skyscrapers, but here's beautiful flowers and trees. And it was a pretty warm, sunny day, but Chicago does live up to its reputation as being the windy city, that's for sure. It was a little cool, at least for me anyway. 
and I have enjoyed some outdoor amphitheaters like this for concerts. Those are really cool. You can get the seats up front or hang out in the grass in the back. All right, guys, well, that's the end of the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. Consider hitting the share and subscribe buttons as well. That way you can stay on top of every video I release. You know, I really hope that we can all not have our dreams be conspiracy theories. I like to make them come true. And that's what I'm working for. So I hope you guys will follow along with me. See you in the next video.